हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस न्यूटन फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ मोशन एज यू कैन सी ऑन द बोर्ड आई हैल्सो रिटर्न लॉ ऑफ इनर्शिया दिस इज बिकॉज द फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ मोशन इज ऑल्सो नोन एज द लॉ ऑफ इनर्शिया सो एज यू कैन सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बिफोर कमिंग टू द लॉ वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज मेन बाय इनर्शिया सो इनर्शिया इज दैट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ अ बॉडी ड्यू टू विच इट रेजिस्ट अ चेंज इन इट्स स्टेट ऑफ रेस्ट और यूनिफॉर्म मोशन दिस मीन्स दैट इफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज एट रेस्ट इट विल ट्राई टू रिमेन एट रेस्ट देर विल बी नो चेंज इन इट्स पोजिशन और इफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज इन मोशन इट विल रिमेन इन मोशन एंड इट विल नॉट कम टू रेस्ट अनलेस एन एक्सटर्नल फोर्स इज एक्टिंग ऑन इट और समबडी कम्स एंड स्टॉप्स इट दिस इज क्वाइट सिंपल यू प्लेस अ बुक ऑन अ टेबल एंड यू डोंट टच इट नो एक्सटर्नल फोर्स इज एक्टिंग ऑन इट इट विल रिमेन लाइक दैट फॉर हर लॉन्ग पीरियड इट मे बी अ वीक अ मंथ और इवन अ इयर अनलेस सम वन कम्स एंड पिक्स अप दैट बुक और चेंजेस द पोजिशन ऑफ दैट बुक इट विल नॉट मूव ऑन इट्स ओन सो दैट इज द इनर्शिया ऑफ दैट बुक बिकॉज इट वॉज एट रेस्ट सो इट्स टेंडेंसी वॉज टू रिमेन एट रेस्ट सिमिलरली इफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज इन मोशन लाइक इफ यू जस्ट रोल अ बॉल ऑन द फ्लोर अकॉर्डिंग टू इनर्शिया इट शुड रिमेन इन मोशन इट शुड नॉट कम टू रेस्ट बट वॉट वी एक्चुअली ऑब्जर्व इज दैट आफ्टर सम टाइम इट स्लोज डाउन एंड इट फाइनली स्टॉप्स दिस इज बिकॉज देर आर वेरियस फोर्सेज इन नेचर विच आर एक्टिंग ऑन इट फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स इज देयर एयर रेजिस्टेंस इज देयर ऑल दीज फोर्सेज अनोइंगली दे आर एक्टिंग ऑन इट एंड दे आर मेकिंग दैट ऑब्जेक्ट कम टू रेस्ट बट इफ यू रोल अ बॉल इन वैक्यूम it will not come to rest this is because in vacuum there are no forces which are acting on that ball if you have ever visited a science museum it's a very common model over there a uh, huge uh, you can say a container is there which is enclosed in glass and you can see a ball rolling round continuously without stopping this is because inside that uh enclosure they have created a vacuum artificially and once the ball has been set in motion it remains in motion because no external forces acting on it similarly the planets they are orbiting the sun the satellites they are orbiting the earth this is all because there is no external force in space also so once they are set in motion they remain in motion unless they are made to stop artificially by exerting a force on it so this is inertia now inertia is of three different types we'll be discussing these types one by one the first one is inertia of rest so inertia of rest means like suppose we are sitting in a car or in a bus or in a train and the vehicle is at rest so what happens is that when the vehicle is at rest our body is also at rest when the vehicle suddenly starts moving that is suppose my hand is the vehicle and this is our body so when the vehicle starts moving what happens is that the lower part of our body which was in contact with the vehicle it starts moving but the upper part of our body still tends to remain at rest because of inertia of rest and that is why we fall backwards so this is inertia of rest this is one example there can be many other examples to this you must have observed while playing carrom board if you stack the coins one above the other and you just strike at the lowest coin what do you observe only the lowermost coin is pushed out while the remaining pile of coins remains intact another very common example take a glass this you can do at home place a card on it it can be a playing card or any other card and place a coin on that card so when you flip the card with your finger just be careful that you have to exert force only on the card not on the coin so when you are flipping the card with your finger the coin falls inside the glass why does this happen this is again because of inertia of rest of the coin the force acted on the card so the card was pushed out it came in motion whereas no force was acting on the coin the coin was at rest it tends to remain at rest 
so because the support from below was withdrawn the coin fell into the glass another very common example whenever we need to dust the carpet we normally hang it on a wire or on a grill and we just beat it with a stick so what happens is as uh, is that the carpet is set in motion when we are hitting the carpet with a stick the carpet comes in motion but the dust particles that were clinging onto the carpet they get detached because they were at rest so earlier they were sticking to the carpet but when the carpet moved back they got detached and they fell down due to gravity another very common example of inertia of rest is that shaking the branches of the trees leaves and fruits are attached to the branches of the trees so when we shake the branches the branch suppose this is the fruit or the leaf hanging to the branch of the tree the branch comes in motion and this fruit or this leaf it tends to remain at rest so it remains at its original position whereas the branch it moves forward and backward causing it to separate from the branch and fall down so this is another application of inertia of rest now coming to the second type of inertia it is inertia of motion this is again something very common which we see around us almost every day in our lives when we are traveling on our vehicles and the vehicle suddenly comes to a stop what happens actually when the vehicle is moving we are also moving with the same speed with the vehicle now what happens is that when we apply brakes the vehicle suddenly comes to a stop and again the lower part of our body which was in contact with the vehicle comes to a stop whereas the upper part of our body still tends to remain in motion and it goes forward that is why we fall forward when sudden brakes are applied and we fall backward when a vehicle suddenly starts moving these are two opposite cases one is of inertia of rest and the other one is of inertia of motion so over here we are talking about inertia of motion so when suddenly brakes are applied to a moving vehicle we tend to fall forward because our body was in motion its tendency was to remain in motion and that is why we fall forward because we are still moving whereas the lower part of our body stops with the vehicle but the upper part of our body which is in air still continues to move so this is inertia of motion the third type of inertia is the inertia of direction so inertia of direction again while moving on our vehicles when we suddenly take a turn especially when a sharp turn is there how do we fall we fall outwards like suppose we are taking a u turn and the vehicle when it turns is flung outwards it tilts outward this is because the tendency of the vehicle is to move in the direction in which it was already moving and when we try to change the direction the part of the vehicle which was uh, away from the source of force gets bent outside similarly when an object is in circular motion you must have seen like if you have a stone tied to a thread and you are rotating it at a very fast speed you are rotating it and suddenly you release that thread you release this thread what happens the stone flies off at a tangent to the circle this is because in circular motion at every point direction is changing it is a uniformly accelerated motion at every point acceleration is taking place at every point the direction is changing so because of this change in direction when the uh, hold is released from here it flies off in the direction in which it was at that particular point of time so if it was here it will fly off in this direction suppose it was here it would fly off in this direction if it was here it will fly off in this direction so at whatever point we release it it will fly off at a tangent to the circle so this is again inertia of direction so these are the three types of inertia now coming to the statement of the first law a body at rest will remain at rest this was explained by the inertia of rest and a body in motion will continue in motion this was explained by the inertia of motion in a straight line because the direction also tends to remain the same unless an external force acts on it that means unless 
some external force acts on an object if the object is at rest it will tend to remain at rest if an object is in motion it will tend to remain in motion and if it is moving in a particular direction it will move in that direction only without changing its direction unless some force acts on it externally this is newton's first law also known as law of inertia this is something very very important for your school exams as well as for the competitive exams you can expect application based questions on this so keep watching and don't forget to click the like button if you like the video